Welcome everybody to another edition of a review at Noah's or a review with Noah's or Noah's reviews. Many names for this whole shindig thing going uh, at this point. So uh, today we're going to talk about the Chase Bliss Dark World, which is a new pedal by Chase Bliss that they just released uh, end of last year, if I'm not mistaken. And we have Paula here to help us with the review, which is kind of exciting because right. Paula and me are friends and uh, this is going to be a good one. So we're going to run through the settings that he feels are practical for his rig and also he's going to give us a bit of an overview of how the pedal works. The Chase Bliss Dark World is a pretty interesting pedal because it's Chase Bliss, the first fully digital pedal they've made. Um, normally Chase Bliss, their slogan is analog signal digital brain or uh, analog or digital heart. Uh, I don't know exactly how the slogan goes, but it's something along those lines. Usually their pedals work with uh, a combination of digital and analog, which this is why I love Chase Bliss so much. So the Dark World is a little different because it's a collaboration between Chase Bliss, Keeley effects and Cooper effects, which are two very heavy hitters in the pedal industry. So. Today, we got here a pedal board or somewhat of a pedal board. Yeah. Um, can you kind of explain what, what we got going on here? So, uh, yeah, I'm not sure what I'm doing. Yeah, here's an overdrive here, an Archer uh, clone, or an e-clone. It's an overdrive here. So, it's a uh, warp vinyl here, so it's icing it for Chase Bliss. So you must have to set my layout. We have a button here, a little bit, a switch on here. So I have to turn the chorus on. So on the day. So I have a loop bar here, but it's still not so good. I'm not going to have a pro bar in my school. I still better have a loop bar for that. So so can I screw up? We need a button here. Good. And so I have a dark world here, Lenta. It's still not good. But I'll do. Or. Det här som är vi vi Chase Bliss, det här att det är faktiskt en... Uh, det här första digitala pedalen från Chase Bliss, annars har det här att det här var analog jo, och digitala styrning. Så att vi ska knäppta det här till, till digital styrning och här också här. Så det är faktiskt en digital hjärna och analog hjärta, ser jag Så det är en uh, dual channel reverb, så det här ser jag här är tre inmus. that you could save presets. Yeah, that's the best, yeah. And the thing is that the digital, the analog pedal, that can be used in the analog pedal, but the thing is that the digital steering, so can you go with presets, so you can actually have an expression and a control pedal and MIDI actually in here. And so are the dip switches. This is the thing that I have to do with Chase Bliss. This is the thing that you can do. Ja, det är något intressant. Det är som en ramping. Det är som en brukar i snö och hesar bland annat här. Och så som jag skiltar så tar man tänker så här. Så för det så kan man automatiskt snurra detta. Det är som en superbärkan person. Alltså samtidigt här och skruva detta på grund av alla tiden. Men kanske borde det bara spart för att visa att det är bättre. Ja. Yeah, I was thinking right now that you should show him some sounds with the normal side, just yeah. while we're on the topic. Oh, yeah. Okay. 
So let's do the typical. Okay. This is like. Hey, hey. So let's do the typical clean tone though. This is my clean tone. Okay. Okay. Clean tone. <laughs> Without any effects on. What does it sound like? The okay, guitar. Okay. Okay. So I think it's gonna sound right. Mm-hmm. 
Lucky on Tower. Han styrer eh, samplingene, til å si at hvis man gjør det her, så klipper det opp i helt stort samples, så gjør det sånn som du sier. Og i den slags hakkåt, ja, og så kan det hende at man får mer smooth, eh, smooth, ja. Bestemmer du hvordan hasht man skal spille for et avbrudd av det gamle jobbet, og så kommer jeg et nytt jobb til en fyr. Så vi kan spille en kartsjøs her. that maybe you wouldn't be able to do with a traditional reverb. Yeah, go as well again. Yeah. Tell us what you're doing, Chase Blues. Stay there, I'll take it in early over. And so here, man, it's a dip switch now. And as I say, so it's just a... You can find a kind of a little bit of a little bit. Or a hair-sack film, actually. As I say, it's a little bit of a little bit of a little bit. So it's just a little bit. Bounce ned i hebeit, når jeg tenker til, og så kan jeg velge tone til å holde meg selv, eller hva? Så nå kører jeg ned tone til meg selv, at vi fremmer alle tøyene. Thank you. 
Also, wenn man das will, man, man kann sehr selten eine Kost auch hin, äh, ein paar Meter. So, es sind hier Schimmer, so ein paar Meter höchst gelockt. So kann er sie ja auch. Und er multiply. Du schiffst dann mit dem Höchst und Lockt. Also mit dem Höchst und Lockt. Du schiffst Expression pedal, no? Du kannst eh sehen, dass das Expression pedal ist, dass du hier ein Kanal aus der Kraft hast. Du hast hier. 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 So kann ich die Attention mit dir rappen. Ton und Mann. So, du kannst ja dir. Du kan faktisk gjøre noen så cool volume swells For ikke volume, men til tonen som står nå At nå er jorden forkommelig her mørst Et eller annet forkommelig her just That's really, really cool Because, you know, you, sometimes you maybe you might have like a typical volume swell But, um, but that's like something else That's not like a typical volume swell <laughs> That sounds really cool actually <laughs> And right now in your chain you're running a uh you're running a delay on top of it with it. a delay I yes, snare. Yeah. It wasn't my long iron. Well, an air is on that mod some chair is in the full area. By the way, I just wanted to interject here. We have a carbon copy in our used pedals. Um, it's a really, really nice delay, but that's a tangent. Let's just go back to the Chase Bliss Dark World. Shane, we're going Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, fun the act on us a little bit. That's your expression with on the front. So, pre delay, uh, 
type of semi you are sure that because lunch there are in the day that are in your plan show you are but that person said to you to that on the day so bird that home as the utum as you are Så så här är det inte att snurra sig själv om. Där kan det här PD, Peter Pridley. Så snart jag tar den här. Peter Pridley. Nu får jag också skriva er. we can do with that thing yeah <laughs> the thing the thing that I like most about it actually was the fact that you could take that you could take a normal a normal delay uh, a normal reverb and uh, just be enjoying yourself playing basically a normal spring type of thing and then going into some really weird kind of uh, aspects um, some modulation stuff and some shimmer oftentimes with a reverb I hate the fact that you have the shimmer on and you're stuck with just playing the shimmer right Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it would be nice to to be able to, okay, you know, maybe in this section of the song I'd like a shimmer, um, and then, you know, maybe this section of the song I just want a normal haul, nothing too crazy. Um, and then on top of all of that, to be able to combine the two together to create something crazy, um, you know, just... Uh, either putting one into the other or the other into one or running them both uh, together at the same time basically um, it, it really kind of opens up opens up a huge opens up a huge door to do some really creative things with it and then to put the cherry on top the whole dip switches thing is just like and I mean like he was explaining it's a good way to look at it like a person that's taking the knobs and kind of moving them around sometimes people my experience with Chase Bliss pedals so far is that sometimes people are actually intimidated by them when they first look at them. Yeah, like, yeah, no, no, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I see here some work by them. Yeah. They're the same, huh? They're talking about those up in Delta, 
Men så ska man bara helt enkelt bara bruka till Jonas som är då. Och så kan man pröva det till att man har en del av damer och så där. Hade ju. Ja, så I mean, but really the thing about Chase Bliss that I really like the most is that um well, they're very detailed with with making it into an experience all the way from the the packaging I got to show you guys this. So all the pedals come in their own little kind of wooden type of box and they all come in like velvet pouches. Each box has its own color. So it's uh if you can see this this is dark world right here. And um it, it's pretty I don't know. This makes this just makes you feel good. <laughs> But uh besides that, I think that the pedals have a lot of options but you don't need to use all the options if you don't want to you could get a, a really good sound out of it just as it is um not to mention the fact that in the in the packaging they give you some good starting kind of sounds that you could uh, adjust and 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 come up with something and then from there you can maybe modify it and make it your own so it's uh i love it it's pretty interesting so mm -hmm. Thank you so much for showing us the dark world. But before we go, I want to talk about this guitar you got here. Oh yeah. What is this this uh interesting uh thing we yeah. got going on here? Det är en Gibson ES 235. Och jag provar först en till var Ferio i USA. Men så provar jag och var då kan ordra att han är redan läckert naturligt trejo. Och det kunde se bra ut för Uh, funkar ju bass nu, men han är ju där gott på att han jag och så är jag pett så det var något tre. Men han är ju förstås att jag ska där så köpte jag inte ta. I helt att jag kommer bara färre och jag sen inte köpa annan, men det är jag största sedan av fjärsen, av Georgie och fjärsen. Så, så det är för, jag tror att det är ta för en, det är för en Woodstock gitarr och och tar höjt och sen ner faktiskt gitarr från av fjärsen och nästan, det är som är Ikke kjøpte til å gi sjansen, og helt at de aldri får sjansen etter, så ble han her i Danmark. Så, ja, han er en øl gjerne fyr. Ja, jeg tror ikke jeg har sett en 335 i den kind of color. Så det er en veldig spesiell en, og det er derfor jeg trodde det ville være fint å nevne. Så, hva er det deg, mann? Hvordan gikk du å spille gitar? Hvordan gikk du å spille bare gitar? Ja, til å begynne til å være onker. Helt onker. Så pappa min spelade gitarr och han som nabbyggen som jag också upp i han är en dagar som fyra fem år äldre så jag sa att det är en bra plan och han spelade gitarr, han spelade metallica och han spelade Beatles och så där. Så tänkte jag väl att jag måste nästa där men så då blir jag här och vi kör nu tonar så att man får lägga bilder eller något sånt så jag pappa får köra i band som han spelade, köra Atkins och Mark Knopfler och så där. Så det var en spännande lång tag. Jeg hadde så gjennom tall, så hadde jeg bare alt det videoen spart. Så jeg begynner til å være et eller annet. Jeg begynner til å bli sin. Du gjør meg ikke for å bruke det. Kjør hva er det antall klær. Og så er musikkskolen. That's cool. My dad også played guitar. And he... He taught me in the beginning, actually. And then I played, and the guitar I was playing on was actually... The strings were really quite hard off the frets. It was very hard for me to play, so I got very frustrated. And I didn't play for... For a week or two, yeah, and then I went to a friend's house, and uh, their guitar had much better action, and I just tried, and somehow I was able to play it very easily, and mm -hmm. that's when it bit me the the, the guitar bug. Yeah, but um, the yeah, the moment, yeah, it's just a, it, it's been, for me, that I for my life, guitar has been a very uh, awesome thing to just be able to express myself and to just sit and just lose myself and uh, nowadays still after playing for as long as I've been playing um, these boxes create an avenue sometimes, sometimes I'll set up some stuff on my board and I'll just be there for three hours I'll lose myself <laughs> so it's it's pretty great so uh -huh. did you start did you start playing rock like every traditional guitar player yeah yeah <laughs> I don't think I don't think I know anybody that has not started with like some heavier kind of music. So where did you what what were your inspirations like band wise in the beginning? Yeah, they were the Beatles. Okay. They were the Beatles. And so what should I not call Metallica? So I do the next sort heavy metal or prog rock 
Det är inte Så kände man bara att bli vuxen då. It's just like it like when we were having the interview with Hagen it was really funny because it was the same thing. It was just like rock and uh, but he didn't say Beatles and actually typically people start really heavy and then mellow out. So I guess you started a little bit on the more mellow rock side and yeah. then kind of built up. Yeah. But now you play mostly jazz. How how Yeah, like jazz and blues, but nice and pop. Oh. Oh no, I'm uh standing for I am t-shirt yeah. heavy. Yeah. So so nu ska det efter till det går som kommer efter att ha mindset. Tar ju bra att jag gifter. Så det har varit så lite ja. How is it? How is it though when you play from genre to genre? Is it is it a, a a switch that you have to make, or is it just pretty easy for you to just jump around in in the genres? Yeah. Because I know we were talking, and you you said you predominantly you like the jazz, but I've seen you play all kinds of other things, and lately you've been uh, playing a lot, and uh, and and you do well in all the genres that you've played. So. Yeah, but but I have to have to jump around by standing there, also. Ja, så kör som jag hör i Stendlingen så är det här. Och akkurat till att det är IM-konserterna. Ta var det också tekniska vänder. Så ta måste ju träna och ting för att komma igång det. Komma i form, va? Men du hade att replace Ingve, Faroes Ingve Malmsteen. Ja, är det ja. Det är lite skräckligt att tänka på. Which he's going to be doing a review here sometime. Uh, I already spoke to him. It's going to be awesome review. Yeah. <laughs> so that's cool, man. So what, so what are you doing now? What's, what's, what's next for you? Eh, ja, nu har vi spart Tjutja för den här tarisjuten Förra för den här Och det var Först var det Så var det Worship mm-hmm. Som kom av Och så var det eh, Blues Fusion Och så var det Roots Rock Det var det Okej okay. That's gonna be sweet <laughs> Ja, ja Det var det nu Alltså, det här tarisjuten Okej okay. Och så Sen det bara blues Nu är det april Och så ska jag tänka mig en flowbook yeah, Are you doing anything for summer festival yet? Do you know? Uh, no, I'm just going. I'm sure. I'm sure we'll see him at summer festival. <laughs> <laughs> Some stage somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's great, man. <laughs> well, anyway, dude, thank you for for coming and for taking the time and for yeah, showing us through the through the dark world. And, My pleasure, uh, bro. Yeah. <laughs> pleasure, dog. My pleasure, dog. Is there any kind of Contact information that maybe you'd like to give in case anybody wants to uh, contact you. Uh, yeah, so can I find me on Facebook? Yeah, Paul Lindash Pulsa. Okay, yeah. Paul Lind. I will have the information when the video's over somewhere from <laughs> in the thing. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> see you guys later and thanks for watching. Yeah, yeah, Noah's. Um, yeah, phone number twenty one fifty two fifty seven. And uh, address Bandaheir Sextan here in Tosham. And uh, we have other Chase Bliss pedals and we have a whole bunch of other kind of really interesting, neat uh, pedals or inspiration boxes as we sometimes like to call them. So come by, check them out. You're more than welcome to stop by and try them and jam out and uh, I'll make you a coffee and we can sit and talk about gear because that's what we do here. This is not just a shop. Uh, it's uh, sort of a hangout, actually. And that's the way I like to see it, at least. So anyway, take care. See you guys later. Just. So